We are back, you guys, with another week of What's for Lunch. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another lunch video with you guys. And this week, it's actually a short week because it is the week following Labor Day. So only four days this week, but I am gonna show you guys at the end of the day what they ate. When I put out my last lunch video, you guys actually asked if I would do that. So I've already filmed week two, this is going into week three before I put this out and it's not gonna have what they ate in it. But this episode will, this way you guys can see how much they actually consume. So this is Mason's and I have a cold pack in here for him because he has a bunch of things that I like to keep cold. So he has a organic strawberry applesauce. He has one of these Chobani Give Me's. These are those Nature's Bakery Bars. He's gonna end up taking this every day. So there's the blueberry one. Here is his Honest Kids Apple Juice Box. And then over the weekend, I made some pizza and Mason loves mushroom on his pizza. So these are the couple of mushroom slices that are left over. He wanted to take them to school, so he has that. And then he has the Mesquite Barbecue Kettle Cooked Potato Chips from Walmart. And then he just has some washed and dried blueberries here in the bag. So that's what Mason's taking. And then here is Jake's. So Jake had already put himself aside some Doritos, but I'm gonna save those Simply Organic Doritos for tomorrow because today I packed him some of the Tostitos chips because he has leftovers from last night. So these are like regular tortilla chips. And then in here is some sour cream to go along with his chips and dinner. He has a fork for dinner. Uh, I am giving Jake one of these little kind bars, but he did tell me that he's not liking the cherry cashew like I thought that he was. So he does like the peanut butter dark chocolate, but he doesn't like the cherry cashew. So if I buy the split box, I do like that one and I'll eat it, um, but I'll probably just get the bigger box of just these for him. And then he has some washed, cut and dried strawberries here. He has the last three of these little striped cookies. He has a brisk iced tea can there. And then here in this Tupperware, oops, let's see if I can get it open one hand. He has an enchilada. I made enchiladas last night and he asked to take one to lunch. So he's going to have that along with his sour cream and all of his other goodies here. And that is it guys. That's what the kids are taking for lunch today. All right guys, we're gonna open up these boxes and see what's inside. I just loosened the zippers so that I can do this one handed. Um, but this is a Mason's. So he didn't eat his chips and he did not eat his pizza, which I am super, super, super surprised about. However, it is out of the bag. So I don't know what happened, but he did eat his yogurt, his applesauce, his juice box, the blueberries, and then that nature's bakery bar. So he had enough, but I'm surprised that he didn't eat the pizza. Um, and chips, what kid doesn't eat chips? But that's what he didn't eat. And then let me see what's up top for Jake. All right, so he didn't eat his kind bar, but that's it up top. Um, oh. And then he ate everything else. So Jake did really good today with the exception of his kind bar. And that's what Mason didn't eat. So that is it for day one. Now it's time to pack for day two of our four day week. Okay guys, so here's what I pulled together to put in their boxes. So we are actually out of bread, which works out good because it gives me an opportunity to use those St. Joseph's wraps. And they really are so large. This is perfect for Jake. Anything smaller, like I don't think it would be enough lunch for him. So I had picked up some cold cut ham. And so I put some mayo, cold cut ham and tomato on his no cheese because he's not really into the cold cheese. Uh, we still have a bunch of cans of this brisk. My mother-in-law picked up like a 48 pack when we went to visit her and Jake's the only one who drinks it. So we still have like 20 of these things. So I'm just gonna try and use them up. Uh, this is some of the, oh no, this is, I made that organic brownie mix that I got from Walmart, the Foodsters. 
They are really good, like super fudgy, very delicious. So I packed him a brownie, and then these are those spicy cheddar Doritos, the um, white cheddar, the organic ones, so delicious. Jake absolutely loves them. Do you hear my dog like click clacking in the background? She's driving me crazy. Um, so since Jake didn't eat his Kind Bar yesterday, I'm gonna try and switch it up. So I had gotten two of these RX bars from Variety Fun in the peanut butter chocolate. And so I'm gonna try this because I know Jake loves anything peanut butter chocolate. So if he sees that, I know for him it'll be worth a try. We'll see how he does with the texture, but I think he'll like that. And then he told me that he tried cucumber dunked in his peanut butter and he loved it. I don't know, I'm more of like celery or crackers or something, but he likes the cucumber in it, but Jake will eat cucumber pretty much with anything. So I cut him up half a cucumber here and put it in the bag with a peanut butter and he should be good to go. So that is Jake. And then here is Mason. So Mason did get a wrap, but he got one um, in just half of a St. Joseph's and he got mayo, ham and cheese, no tomato. He likes the cheese, but he doesn't like the tomato. So that's what he got. And then he's taking a bag of the skinny white cheddar popcorn. He also has one of those little brownies from Foodsters. He has some washed cut and dried strawberries. So this, because I decided to switch it up and Jake doesn't like the dark chocolate cherry cashew kind bars, I'm gonna try this one on Mason. So we'll see if he likes that. So I got that for him. And then his Honest Kids apple juice box. And then he is taking a strawberry applesauce. So that is it for my kiddos. I'm gonna pack them up and get to bed. All right guys, so it's time to see what's inside of the boys' lunchbox. And Mason did amazing, but he did tell me that he tried the Kind Bar and didn't like it. So want, want, that was worth a try, but he ate everything else, which was great. Um, Jake actually said that he wasn't feeling so well, so he didn't eat everything. Uh, he already threw his Tupperware in the sink for his sandwich, but he didn't want to try the RX bar, and he said he didn't even want the brownie. So that's how I know my kid was not feeling well. He asked me to repack that in his lunchbox for the upcoming day, but everything else he did pick on, he said slowly throughout the day, he said he even ate his sandwich on the bus on the way home, because that's when he started to feel just a tiny bit better. So now that they're empty, let me reload them. All right, guys, so here is what I pulled together for them. And then I wanted to show you guys more in live version um, the Hydro Flask. I know I popped a picture up in the last uh, or two lunch videos ago, but this is actually what it looks like. This thing is ginormous. It's super heavy. It's worth every dollar. Every person I've ever uh, commented about this from when I posted it has said like, holy cow, these things are amazing. So I highly recommend them, um, probably better than, you know, uh, than anything else I have seen out there. So definitely give those ones a try. And then here is what I packed them. So for Jake, he got a thing of those Oh Snap pickles. And then I'm gonna try the kettle cooked jalapeno chips on him just cause he likes anything spicy. And then of course, the breast to kind of wash it down. I know he has water, um, but those things can get uh, quite spicy. Um, and then I packed him his kind bar again, just the peanut butter and dark chocolate because I know he likes that. And then here is that brownie that I packed back for him that he didn't eat yesterday. And then I made um, some hard boiled eggs. So I just salt and peppered the tops of them and then put three hard boiled eggs in here. And then in here is some watermelon. And of course his is in the triangles the way that he likes it. And then here is a mason's box so he also has watermelon but his is cut into cubes and then we still have some more brownies anyway so because i gave jake uh his back i gave mason another one and he um has two hard boiled eggs and then he has his little nature's bakery fig bar he has his chobani gimme's yogurt in the bunch of grape flavor he has the apple uh, juice on his kids' juice box. I think we're only down to one more of those, so tomorrow uh, will probably be the last of those. Uh, a strawberry applesauce, and then he has the original kettle cooked chips. So that is it for my boys for day three. I will see you guys uh, this evening for what they ate. Okay guys, are you ready to see the real difference between both of my kids? So this is Mason's box. 
And I do have to clean it out a little bit because you can tell that he has like little tiny bits of egg yolk everywhere. Do you see that? Little tiny yellow pieces of egg yolk. It's even like on here. I don't even know how he made such a hot mess. But empty watermelon juice box. Empty. Empty. Here's Jake. Jake ate pickles and a brownie. Here's his watermelon, still his kind bar, his eggs, his drink, because all he does is pretty much drink water. I don't even know why I waste my time giving him a brisk, and the jalapeno chips, which I thought he would be all over. So that is the difference between kids. Um, all right, so now I'm going to clean this all out and get it packed for the final day of the week. We made it. Okay, guys, as I mentioned, we have made it to the end of the week. So this is what my boys are taking on the last day. And then I'll just show you guys when they get home tomorrow what is in their boxes. So hopefully Jake eats all of this because so much of this is his favorite. So I bought one of those Nor sides from the Dollar Tree and it was like the Alfredo flavor. And so I made that to split between the boys. So Mason has like a smaller size container. He took like a third and Jake took like the two thirds. And so as I've mentioned before, they're gonna just use their microwave at school to heat that up. And then here is their fork. And then Jake has his brisk, of course. And then here are some washed and dried celery stalks and some peanut butter, because I know he'll go crazy on that. And then I have some pretzels in here for them. And then these are something else that I picked up from the DT. I gave one to each kid, and I'm really excited to find out if they like them. So it's called a gourmet chocolate fusion and basically it's like a wafer cookie very similar to like a Kit Kat kind of texture but Nutella on the inside so I hope the kids like that I just need to close this back up and then I can close Jacobs he's good to go and then Mason has some similarities and some differences so here's his fork and here's his smaller portion of pasta and then he also has some pretzels and then here is his Honest Kids juice box and then instead of celery and peanut butter he has has some strawberries and then he has one of these oops I just ripped that that's awesome uh, he has one of these chocolate fusion um, bars as well and then of course his nature's bakery bar um, which he's been eating at brain break uh, snack time so that is it for their lunch boxes for Friday and I'll see you guys in just two shakes of a lamb's tail Okay guys, we have completely empty lunch boxes, but that's because it is early Monday morning and I did not get a chance. I was working on Friday. I did not get a chance to empty out their lunch boxes. And then we had showing after showing on Friday, showing after showing on Saturday, and I wasn't home. So my husband ended up cleaning these out and putting them underneath the cabinet and not realizing that I hadn't filmed the clips yet. Now, he did say that there wasn't a whole lot in either kid's lunchbox anyways, and Mason told me he's been eating a lot going home on the bus. He has a 40-minute ride, between 30 and 40 minutes by the time they get on, get all their stops out, and get off the bus. Um, so he said whatever he hasn't finished, by the time he gets on the bus, he's hungry from lunch was hours before then. So he said he's been going through his lunchbox and finishing things up on the way home. So that's why his lunchbox looks so empty all the time. And Jake said he's been doing similar things just because they have super long periods. Their periods here are an hour and a half long. They only have four classes a day and each class is like an hour and a half long. So sometimes when they have like brain breaks and stuff, he will pick things out of his lunchbox to eat. So that explains a little bit why these boxes have been coming home a little bit emptier than I thought that they would. I don't pack everything with the essence of them eating everything. It's more or less to give them variety. I know sometimes I sit down and I'm in the mood for this and not that. So now I'm going to take these boxes since it's early Monday morning and I'm going to refill them and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.